All right, this is my Z06 Fet D11s, and uh, this is a follow-up video to the Google Wallet installation that we did uh, Thursday of last week, the day after the Google Galaxy Nexus came out. Uh, there's a new method that's been available now, and we're going to do a quick walkthrough on how to uh, go through that process. So, uh, Verizon Galaxy Nexus here. We're using 4G, and uh, first thing we're going to do is show you that it's not rooted uh, because this new method does not require you to root or unlock the bootloader or any of that so we've just got root checker installed here and uh, as you can see this is sorry the device does not have the proper root access so completely bone stock phone and uh, we're gonna go over here to the droid live site where we can get the google wallet apk and of course we'll provide a link for this in the description below the video we'll tap that to start the download Let's see if we can focus on that a little better. All right, so the installation or the download's complete. We'll go ahead and install. And it fires right up with the initializing your device screen. Sometimes this can take a few minutes, especially if you're over the mobile network. Um, Wi-Fi network, depending on your home connection, can be a little bit quicker. But we've gotten some pretty awesome speeds on 4G, so we should be okay here. So we'll use the email address that we've got set up for Google Wallet in this case. We'll allow permission for the account. And here we are. So we're on the screen where it's asking to configure a PIN number, and we're going to do that real quick off camera. Uh, let's do it. Oh, there we go. And here we are. The payment card section. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add a card. And since we've already set this account up with a, a prepaid debit card from Google, uh, tied to the Google account, it'll just go ahead and reconfigure that um, using Money Network. Sorry for the uh, shaky video here. And there we go. Well, now we previously set this up, so the $10 credit we already got. But if this is your first time setting up, you'll get that $10 as well. Uh, from here, everything else is uh, the same as you've seen before. You can add more money to it, uh, and it's ready to go. All right, we thought we'd uh, go ahead and give you a demo of this actually working on this stock, not rooted phone. So we came to McDonald's because at this hour here in Kansas, it's the only place open that uh, has the MasterCard PayPass terminal for us to give you this demo on. So let's do this real quick while we're walking up. We'll do a uh, root checker one more time, just so you can verify, just for all the naysayers out there. As we're walking in. Sorry the device does not have proper root access, so let's see what we can do. Sorry, I'm not going to stop the video because I, I want to keep it rolling all the way through for you.
What kind? Say crispy ranch wrap. A dollar thirty-eight. You can fast forward a little ways if you're uh, still waiting, obviously, because we're still waiting. Can I get a regular cheeseburger? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Are you recording the And there we go. Yeah. Credit. Yeah, what? It'll be credit. All right, thank you. That was cool. Anything for you? Okay. You gonna order something? Oh, okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So there we go. Picked up a uh, cheeseburger at McDonald's courtesy of Google. Just so happens that I'm a vegan. <laughs>